Hi on Wallax Lives. I think it's time to play a little better than wolves. Alright. So oh what oh I guess it is daytime. I was like, why are you dropping your eggs now? It's nighttime. No wonder why I can't catch my eggs. So I came out here and there was totally Whoa. Four chickens. What? I'm confused. There's been clearly only three chickens the last couple of episodes. Oh, nice. Uh... Why are there suddenly... Four chick where was it hiding? It's so weird. Chicken, 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 chicken. Okay. That's bizarre to me. Uh, so I came out here because uh, I thought I would uh, make sure I got my eggs before the episode started. And um, there was a skeleton in there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But he was just standing in there. So I had to make sure he was dead before I lost any more of my chickens. Uh, so I grabbed my clay. So we should be able to head back down uh, to work on things or go mining. One of those two things is going to happen here. Um... I'm not sure. I guess technically mining is working on things, so whatever we do, it's going to be working on things. Take advantage of those couple of mushrooms I found. When I was down below. Man, those, uh, it's really nice to find those, um, find those diamonds while I was down there for sure. Uh, oh, right, I had problems with Skeletons, right? There's like a pile of skeletons down here. Great. Well, how far down do you think that hole's going? There we go. It goes down to here. Alright. Now I kind of want to go and explore a little bit more down in here. Try not to get killed. I was trying my hardest to get killed last time, that's for sure. I don't have a lot of torches, so I don't know how how far we'll be able to get in here. Should definitely check around this pool of lava, though, for things and sundries. Uh, yeah, not that it has anything to do with uh, better than wolves, but. Whew, I went outside today to do some yard work. Oh, my arms hurt so bad. I, uh. I mean, it doesn't help that I'm a slacker, right? Uh, but, uh, my, uh, that's interesting. It's like a double layer of obsidian there. My, um, yard has some wet patches in it I've been trying to figure out how to get rid of. And one of the things they suggested was to aerate said lawn and um well actually i think oh i saw some obsidian i've got to get down i saw some obsidian Derp -derp -derp. yeah you saw some obsidian it's all over the place down here no i saw some um th 
That's obsidian, right? What am I looking at? What are you? No. This is something else. And it's not going into my inventory. What am I looking at? Some kind of glass. It shatters. Weird. I don't know what that stuff is. I feel like I've seen it before, but I... Not sure what it is. Uh, so, yeah, so I went out with a pitchfork today and uh, walked around the lawn poking holes, trying to um, let the water through. I don't know. Anyways, my biceps and shoulders not happy. Because, <laughs> you know, I was, uh, stick the pick pitchfork in the ground, wiggle it around a little bit, pull it back out, stick the pitchfork in the ground, wiggle it around, pull it back out, over and over and over and over. And then, of course, of course, the niece is like, I'm playing in that mud hole. I'm like, no. No, you need to stay out of the mud hole. And then what does she do? Oh. Uh oh. As soon as I... As soon as I come back in, uh, I see her go right to where I was at and start smearing it with her feet because she doesn't want the mud hole to go away. So this is like a really dangerous place uh, to try and sort things out. I did get a little bit. 27, wow. You get a lot of redstone out of redstone. That's a lot. Alright, I brought my clay with me. So we should have plenty of clay to work on some of this up here. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, it didn't really look like it was going to work. I, it just doesn't make any sense to me. There's just like this one patch in my lawn that's like underwater. And the problem is, is there are patches that are next to it at a lower level that are not wet. So... Yeah. So I don't know exactly what's going on there. Okay, I don't need bat wings. I need this and uh, I guess this. Clay. Clay. Torch it, torch it. I wish it was like Minecraft, right? <laughs> Uh, I guess my next option is to uh, raise the level of the ground there. Uh, well, it's it's dumb. Like I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm talking about this in in this episode. I don't. It's not something I normally do. I think I'm gonna have to continue though. I think I'm just gonna have to continue the story. So it's it's bizarre to me. It's bizarre because like. Like, it's on a hill, and so I get why, I get why when it rains there would be water there. Um, but it's not on that big of a hill, and so once the, once the, I mean we haven't had rain in four days now, and there's just this one super weird, and we didn't have it before. Uh, like three years ago, three years ago, it wasn't there. Well, I mean, the one patch has been there ever since we moved in, and I'm just now starting to do something about it, or trying to do something about it. 
but only because it's gotten worse and I don't understand why it's happening and uh, so there's like there's like a hill right so here I'll just do this so we've got we got the hill okay so there's the hill it comes down the hill and then uh, and then this this is my yard here uh, so it comes down the hill and this is the yard and it comes down the hill and then it flattens out and then there's um like a row of trees right and uh, so there's my my row of trees and then and then there's more yard and then where the torch is is my driveway right so it comes it's not that steep of a hill it's we're talking maybe maybe a four foot well it's probably more than four feet if you go all the way to the top of it but that's on somebody else's problem property so from their property to my driveway is maybe a four foot decrease in height uh, over probably I don't know uh, it's probably like six feet to the trees um, we'll see 60 80 feet so it's not a steep hill or anything it's just a little hill and uh, oh hey you know what I got slaps I could totally slab this out <laughs> this is nothing to do nothing to do with what I'm doing and I don't tell these stories in this particular series but I feel like telling this story today so we got a hill like that okay it's not even that steep we got a hill like 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 that uh, maybe uh, it's really gentle but anyways anyways so you get the idea right there's a slope comes down to the trees so on one side of the trees no no starting at the edge of the property is a new just started last year wet patch that you can see in the grass because the grass is greener and it wasn't there before and like <laughs> it's a field and they didn't do anything with it last year but there isn't like a ditch there or anything and so I'm really really confused as to why it's doing what it's doing because it's never done it before and this isn't the first time they left the field fall um, and uh, but it comes right down to our pool uh, and so all around the pool is now a giant wet spot and we thought we actually thought the pool had sprung a leak because of how bad it is and um, but the pool has not sprung a leak and so uh, so all I can figure is that the top soil of my yard in those one spot it really makes no sense the the opposite side of the driveway is at a lower elevation and the water does not run across the the driveway into the lower elevation to um, to make that side wet uh, and so I really it doesn't it doesn't make physics sense to my brain why a higher elevation would be wet but it is it's on the hill is sopping wet oh that's not gonna work and uh, and if you go just a little bit to either side of that new wet spot um, which just started last year uh, it's dry it's dry Uh, 
um, but both sides of the trees uh, in that one spot are hey ha why did you just slide like that that was weird I did not put my torch in there dang it Anyways, so I'm hoping to get the redstone here uh, a little closer to done today. I don't know why I'm digging that out. I don't need to dig that out. It's just extra digging. Okay. Uh, oh, man. Oh, okay, there we go. So, so, oh, man, I came down here with no sticks. But yeah, it's uh, it's getting about that time here. We've had uh, oh, two uh, two. Whoops, that is the wrong kind of torch. Two fifty plus degree days in a row. Uh, <laughs> in a row, even. Um, that's not to say it's gonna stay that way, cause uh. Where I live, the weather rapidly changes. I mean, a lot of places say that. Um, so, I guess I could say, where I live is one of those places where the weather rapidly changes. Um... Like, I mean, yesterday was 57, today it's 50. Um, and overnight it's in the 30s. That seems a bit crazy to me. And then I think next week it said it's supposed to snow again. And it's supposed to rain all week on top of snow, so that's going to be great. Which is why I was trying to get this wet spots out. Okay. Nope. Alright. Uh, I kind of want to go see what's over here. It's horrible. I like the uh, I like the pool of water here though to make sure if uh, great that was weird. <laughs> I don't appreciate your gravel trap, man. <laughs> I want to dig out this... I don't know if I need lapis for anything. Um, let's go ahead and see about getting it dug out here. Uh, where are my stairs? Also, I've only got one regular torch left. I'm going to have to go. Oh, well, this is the end. Not as exciting as I thought it might be coming down through here. Uh, let's get rid of this water here. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been weird. Uh, you'd think that, uh, being all quarantined in that uh, 
I get more stuff done, but I definitely don't. Although, to be fair, <laughs> uh, my life is already quarantined in, so there's been very little changes when it comes to that stuff. Um, I work from home. I don't really like to do things. I'm definitely an introvert. Uh, it drains me to have to hang out with other people. And um, so, I, I'm not gonna lie, uh, the quarantine is bad for me, I guess, in the sense that people are always here and they never go away. They never go away. Uh, and it's exhausting. It is horribly, horribly exhausting. Uh, was it almost nighttime here, probably? I wanted to go... Oh. Oh, that's daytime, right? I done worked the whole night away. Where's my eggs, chickens? There's an egg. There's an egg. That's two. Where's the rest of those eggs, chickens? There's an egg. Should be one more egg. I haven't actually seen the chickens lay the eggs. Uh, so I don't know if they like... Oh, there's the egg. I was gonna say, I don't know if they come from the chicken. I mean, yes, obviously they come from the chicken, but I don't know if they come from the chicken, uh, or if it's a, you have chickens, you fed chickens, so now let's spawn an egg somewhere around them to mimic how chickens can lay eggs kind of thing. Uh, did I? Okay. Alright, let's break up these eggs and see what we get. Oh man. I'm going to be replacing all my chickens. That's okay. I'll take some chicken meat and feathers. Be handy. Uh, I had better get my... Okay, first off. First off, let's unload things. Okay, and let's get this iron in with the other... Oh man, look at that. I got a whole stack of... It's like seven... Seven iron chunks to cook down, right? Seven ingots worth of iron right there. Uh, I need to get some... Uh, oh no! I. It's only been like two days, Field. What is wrong with you? I'm such a slacker. I really need to look into those uh, pots that you grow stuff in. I can't seem to manage to do this, so... Oh man, got my my poor watermelons as well. I'm not so worried about the watermelons as I am um, trying to get some hemp going again. I didn't think I was gone away from the field that long. Uh, I need to get some more netherrack though to uh, grind down here, so I want to come out and I guess work in the nether a little bit. I think my tree has grown yet. I know it's not going to grow if I'm not in the nether. No.
Okay, we'll grab ourselves a little bit of a little bit of another wreck. Grind down for torch. Oh no, nope, no, nope, we don't. We don't want to open that up. That's just that's just bad news. Do you hear all of the things around me? That's scary. I hear ghasts and I hear uh, blazes. So things why I want my tree to grow. Force them away from where I enter the nether. Although I guess having uh, blazes so close isn't so bad. That's where I've gotten my blaze rod so far. Should be enough for right now. Why am I moving so slow? That was weird. Oh, I must have touched the water on the edge. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm on cobblestone. I don't understand what's going on. Whew. Alright, so this will get me uh, enough stuff for more torches. Um, oh. Okay, this game is scaring me today or something, man. I just heard the grinder in here going off, and I was like, what is making that horrible sound? It was me. And my grinding. Um, sticks. Plenty of sticks. There we go. Plenty of torches. Let's get these things lit. Uh, okay, let's see how we're doing here before we end the episode. So I've got... I've got... Uh, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, uh, say thirty-five-ish, thirty-five-ish down now. Um. But I guess I should reach at least this level here. Um, it's weird to me that the torch tower is so close to this. Uh, so the actual elevator, though, is one, two, three, uh, four spaces back. Okay, let's um, let's do this. Let's head down, and dang it, man, mobs keep spawning in my mob grinder. <laughs> um. And let's go ahead and start. Oh. I kind of expected this guy to keep going. Weird. Alright, and so this gets me to... Uh, second layer, right? Or, no, I'm well below second layer up there. So we're in second layer now. I don't know how much farther I gotta go 
to get the first layer. There are mobs everywhere around me, it sounds like. I'm in the nether, I hear ghasts and blazes. I'm in here, I hear nothing but zombies. Definitely can use some more coal. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to call over here. Call it here for today. I can speak, really. And, uh... <laughs> Uh, this is just some some slow work uh, getting this elevator in place. It's fun though. I like having the elevator to bring me down to uh, to the lower levels. So uh, and if I'm gonna start, um, you know, start morning the uh, lowest levels, then I'm gonna not want to have to constantly be going up and down a ladder when I can take a nice gentle elevator plus plus I would like to bring my grinder down uh, this far as well and um, use that to uh, it'd be nice to take the elevator down to the bottom of that I remember my old world um, where it was near my house, and um, the uh, I had an elevator that would take me all the way to the bottom of my grinder area. It was fun. I also had a, a separate elevator in my base that would take me down to my mining area. And uh, also fun. But, uh, all right, well, with that, click Lavy Lake, subscribe to and catch the next one, and I will talk to you later.